Hello dear friends, I want to speak to you about a 10 minute message on a very important subject and that is on how to overcome backsliding. Backsliding. And that is with people who are God's people. But they are, <clears throat> they, they begin to lose their place in favor with their, their situation with the Lord and they begin to what we call backslide. That is they are beginning to turn away from God. I may be talking to some of you who are God's children. You love the Lord down deep in your heart. You know that Jesus Christ is real and that He is uh, the Lord of your life. And yet you have allowed the world and other things to take over to a certain extent and you've gotten away from your love for the Lord. Maybe you don't read your Bible anymore. You don't really pray much anymore. And you don't go to church anymore. And you never talk a whole lot about Jesus to others. You're backslidden. <laughs> and this can happen. And we need to know how to overcome backsliding. Because the Lord is not pleased with backsliders. But He loves them and He wants, to come, wants them to come home. You may have some children. They're away from you and they're not living like they should. And they, you're not in touch with them and your heart's broken. But they're still your children and you still love them. And that's the way it is with God, some of God's children. They get away from him, and he is disappointed, but he, he, still, he still loves them. And I, I want you to come back to him, or else there's more trouble in store for you. The Bible says over in the book of, uh, of uh, Hosea, in the 11th chapter, My people are bent on backsliding. My people are bent on backsliding. They're turning away from me. They're going away from me and doing those things that are not right in my sight. They have turned from me. They don't love me like they used to love me. They don't call on me like they used to call on me. And they don't serve me like they should serve me in their home, in their work, and in their church or wherever they are living. And so it's important for us to see this and to know what to do about it, how we overcome. Here's how we overcome backsliding. Well, a great, great portion of backsliding is due to the fact that we begin to depend upon ourselves and turn away from God. I mean, backsliding is not always going out and shooting somebody or stealing or, or cursing or, or doing any willful, terrible sins. Backsliding starts, number one, with the fact that we begin to look to ourselves and figure out everything ourselves and, and turn away from depending on God. That's the fruit of backsliding, number one. And it'll get worse, and you'll begin to do worse. But this is the number one cause, I think, of backsliding. The answer is found in Proverbs in the third chapter. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not upon your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not upon your own understanding. You see, the trouble is, you're leaning on your own understanding. That means that you're really not depending on God anymore. You're depending on self and what self can do. That's a, that's a real temptation. I have to face it every day. And we all have to face it. We need to uh, be aware of it every day. Unless we begin to become hardened in our heart toward God. We need to repent and say, Lord, help me. Not to depend on myself, but to depend on you. By depending on the God, I mean that we depend on Him for our thinking and our speaking. Now, we'll still speak, and we'll speak in our own language and vernacular, and we'll still have our own personalities, but we're depending on God. And the Spirit of the Lord is giving us words and thoughts, and the way of the Lord becomes our way. And we become now distant to the world and closer to God. And we walk closer to Him because... We're trusting in Him, and we're not leaning on our own understanding. That is, we're not depending on ourselves. We're depending on God to work in us and through us to the glory of God. And then the Bible says, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Do not be wise in your own eyes. But fear the Lord and depart from evil. Be not wise in your own eyes. Too many times we get to thinking we know it all. Too many times we think we're better than other people. We're, we, we make a mistake in becoming proud and sometimes proud of our goodness. Like some old boys said, I'm proud of my humility. <laughs> we become proud of our sins if we're not careful. 
we think we that we're we're better than others and we're not better but we're worse when we consider the fact that we're wise in our own eyes we begin to see ourselves as being wise and strong and fruitful and bright and able to do all things and that's not good because without God we're not wise we're foolish and without God we cannot see things we're blind and without the Lord Jesus we're lost and we're on our way to hell without Jesus and so we need to come back and to trust him and to know he's there so <clears throat> the way to overcome is take with you words and say Lord forgive me I have gotten away from you I want to be closer to you I want to walk near to you and I want to be what you want me to be and I want to find again the joy the peace and the power that God alone gives to those who walk by faith and trust in him oh praise the Lord he wants you to walk in the very shadow of the Almighty he wants you to walk in the, in his, the shadow of his wings he wants you to be close to him dear friend he loves you very much and he's calling you and he's saying to you you cannot find anything better out in this world so don't turn away and go back into this old world because there's nothing out there but heartache there's nothing out there but hope but uh, but uh, hell-bent pride and evil and oh there's nothing there but trouble and trial waiting for you but come to me come to me come to me all ye that labor and are heavy laden I'll give you rest and peace I want you to come back to me. I want you to come back to me. There's a word I want to I want to share with you in closing, and it's a word over uh, again in in the book of Hosea, and the Bible says this in verse in chapter level. I will heal their backsliding, and I will love them freely, saith the Lord. The Lord is saying this. I want to heal your backsliding, and I will love you freely because you belong to me. You are my child. You have trusted Jesus. Come back to me. Come home to God. And so pray in your heart and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in you. I believe in Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, renew your presence in my life. Oh, my Lord, I give you my heart. And help me not to depend on me. I'm depending on you. I'm putting myself at your feet. And I'm praying your will be done in my life. Amen. Pray a prayer or something like that. And then if you've never been saved, you need to pray and ask God to forgive you and for Jesus to come into your heart as the Lord of your life. And you'll be saved forever. Oh, praise God. Praise God. God heals the backslider and he loves them freely. Amen. Come thou fount of every blessing to my heart to sing thy praise. Streams of mercy never ceasing, cause for songs of loudest praise. Tease me some melodious sonnet sung by flaming tongues above. Oh, here's my heart, oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Oh, here's my heart. Oh, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. Amen. Seal it for thy courts above. May the Lord bless you and guide you and keep you. And know that he loves you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Remember, uh, protect for find you a good church and serve the Lord as best you can with his people. And it'll help you to stay close to him. And it'll help you to overcome backsliding. Amen and amen.